Hey guys, this is Bushy Mountain Tunnel. I've already made my way back from Coots Lake to Bushy Mountain Tunnel. Now I'm going back from Bushy Mountain Tunnel to Coots Lake. Return trip. Met a nice family up there. Multiple families. I helped them out a bit. They thought there was water ahead. Guys, there is no water anywhere on this trailhead from Coots Lake to Terra Drummond trailhead. As I said before in my videos, make sure you have water and food, protein bars and stuff to keep you going. Thank you for walking with me. I've taken my lens filter off for the sun so that you guys can see the tunnel better. I'm going to pause the video at the end of the tunnel as I come out and put the lens filter back on because I'm now walking towards the sun. There we go. Tunnel. Beautiful out here. Now we're on our way back to Coots Lake Trailhead. And I'll show you some of the lake when I'm there.
It's a beautiful day, guys. It's after 5, 516. We'll probably get there around 6 o'clock or so. Butterfly. <laughs> Doesn't want to be filmed. I'm good. Butterfly saying, leave me alone. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. You can tell the weather's getting cooler. I'm not consuming as much water. I'm sweating less. Fall's coming. Lord bless me to have a day off from work because of the holiday. I didn't ask for it off, but I'm off. I appreciate that. Enables me to do what I'm doing today. Marker 30. The silver comet. All right, we're at the Polk County line along with the Paulding County line. So Coots Lake Trailhead is two miles from here. And behind us, the tunnel is a quarter mile behind us. 
And that is how I know signage, which is a good thing. And if you were to go to the Ramble Trailhead, where there's only a porta potty, no water, that's nine miles from here. You'd have to go, I guess another two miles or so, I don't remember. I've done the walk, but then the next trailhead from Ramble is Tear Drummond. So, you get water there, there's a restroom there, all of that. Places to sit. And Paulding County, that way. And we're going to Polk County, this way. We are in Polk County, actually. I mean, Coots Lake, that's where we're going. I hope you enjoy my videos. I'm not doing them just for me. I'm doing them for you guys. So you can see what the trailhead looks like. Trail looks like. It's a beautiful trail. As I said before, Silver Comet Train used to run on this from New York to Alabama. Maybe longer. Don't remember. Look it up. I hear another train. Off to the right. Can't see it, it's too far away. That's down that way, somewhere. If you guys hear squeaking, I apologize. I had a protein bar and I don't throw my trash on the ground. So I'm making noise at the moment, but that's all right. I put music behind my videos, so some of that will be drowned out. That's a big old tree that fell.
feeling pretty good now. When I first started the trail on the way to the tunnel, I was struggling a bit because my body was tired. I've been walking the trail for three days. Saturday I did about 10 miles. For me it's not about the mileage, but I'm just trying to give you an idea how much I've been walking. Yesterday it was six miles, today it's going to be about five. Counting all the other walking I do throughout the day. I'm a walker. This is kind of cool. Very quiet. Look at that. Seed pods. Or are they crab apples? I don't know what they are. I really don't. I'm not gonna eat them though. They look like crab apples. They're probably seed pods. The bicyclist. Don't run over me. Hello. I'm guesstimating here, but we're about maybe 200 feet up in the air. Well, not in the air, but on the hill where the train used to run. Because there's ravines to the left and right of us. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. I just found the remnants of one of the trains pass. You see it? Look at that, old telegraph pole. Oops, sorry guys.
That's pretty wild. <laughs> you can see it now. Now you know what I'm looking at. That's pretty wild. You still got the porcelain tops on the top. Three of them. Those are usually missing. Are they porcelain? Or are they made of something else? Yeah, I'm trying to get you a good view of it. Ah, I really need I hate the fact that they put the zoom right next to the camera lens shutter for taking photos on this app. It's like they jam those two sections just together. It makes it hard sometimes to do the video properly. Because there are times where I'm just trying to focus and there are times where I'm trying to focus in on a subject and take a picture. That tree's falling over. If there's one of those, there may be more than one. Unless they're all gone. There were more. They're probably up in the woods. It's been a long time since the train's been on this trail. Big old bug just buzzed me. Oh, there they are again. Three days in a row I met these couples. That makes three days. Three days of seeing you guys. It's starting guys, fall's coming, see the color change, it's color change, fall's coming, the leaves are starting to turn.
See, when I think when fall's coming, I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna do full trails. So you guys know what the trails look like by now. I'll do portions to catch the nature, the beauty of the na cha nature change. Transitioning from summer to fall and winter. I won't be on the trail in the winter, guys. I saw that couple yesterday too. You won't see that video. It came out really bad. I thought I was looking okay when I was holding the phone with my hands doing the walk. When I got over and transferred everything to my computer, took a look, all shaky like mad, shaking left and right. You would have got seasick from that. I'll probably keep it for my own future viewing, but as a tool, as a memory. I don't really destroy anything that I take. I've got a couple of file servers at home that I save everything on, and external drives also. Rest area, you know, I think I'm gonna sit for a minute. That's what they're here for, right? Beautiful day. My gimbal is a smooth floor. I like it very much. It handles heavier loads. My phone is fairly heavy with the lens on it. Yes, I have to use counterweights on the right to balance it so that it's not laboring to try to keep the load up. If the load's not balanced out right, left, right, front, forward, backwards, whatever, yeah, the motors work harder and uh, the, at times the gimbal will malfunction because of that. This has other options to this gimbal, but because I'm using Android, I can't use a lot of the features that are available on this gimbal. Like it has a zoom and everything on it. It has... Uh, Time lapse, all of that. I'm hoping soon to get an Apple Pro 14 Max with lots of storage um, so that I can get around that because I'd really like to use the features of this gimbal. Like I wouldn't labor with um, the zoom and all that because it has a zoom on the gimbal itself. But with Android, you're limited. So, but I'm happy with it. It's doing well. It's doing what I tell it to do. So, basically, the aim, turn the gimbal, what you what you want it to look at, and it goes that way. Like, look at that. See, it's doing it right now, obviously. But yeah. I've learned a lot since I started doing this, and I enjoy it. I encourage you guys too to get out and enjoy the world. There's lots to see. Whatever it is you want to do, go out and do it. Enjoy your life. Share your enjoyment with others. But don't make it about you. I'm trying not to make this about me either. Share your life with others. 
show them what is out there. Encourage them to go out and enjoy life. I'm 59 years old, and when I was a kid, you couldn't find me in my house. Me and my friends would be all over the city of Chicago. All over. We used to end up downtown. We used to end up at Lake Michigan. Now we lived on the north side. Had a good time. Miss my friends. Some of my friends see these videos. Most of them have moved out of Chicago now though. It's become too expensive there. I do miss it. I'm getting ready to go there in a couple of weeks to visit my mother in Bartlett. And I'm gonna travel down to Lakefront and do some footage of the lakefront. I don't know what, how it's gonna turn out and all that, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna drive down to Chicago from Georgia. That tree's going. One day that tree is gonna fall. It's got life on it though. It's just laboring. I think that life is, is that vines or is that the tree? Okay, that is the tree. That tree's alive. It's just fighting for foundation. Because down there, there's not a lot of foundation left. It's washed out. So. Some leaves just shake on the trees and branches. See how that one's moving. So it's doing a dance. That is so cool. Nature. Nature is awesome. 